being on tour and seeing you. You're the best. Um, we love it when Grandma Kate comes. Also, um, Kate, I did get the artwork that you sent me, the James Van Der Beek one, When There Are No Words You Dance, and I got the note that you sent with it too. And I think I tried... I'm not sure if I messaged you on one of your comments or something. I'm so sorry if I didn't, but I meant I had every intention of telling you that that's so beautiful. And yes, that's what I did. I sent a picture of it to James because I remember in your note you wrote that was something that really touched you about um, the time he was going through with his, you know, personal uh, family kind of tragedy around that time. And so I'm I'm really grateful that you sent that and you created that. It was awesome and he loved it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I miss tour. Oh my God. It's been, I can't believe yesterday would have been the day that we would have done the LA show here, which is obviously where I live right now in LA. Um, and it feels honestly like a lifetime ago that we were even on tour. So the fact that we still would have been on tour and we would have had another nine shows left is crazy to me like we really missed out on a lot of shows and it sucks but of course it sucks you know more so for the people that bought the tickets and that were coming to see the show so it's i'm super sad about that i hope that next year we can do a tour and it's like you know just as long and we get to revisit these places that we that got cancelled this year but anyway Okay, I hope you're well and you're at home and you're doing like fun things and staying in and um, you're getting to, you know, FaceTime with family members and watch TV shows. And I saw here that you asked, do you ever binge watch a Netflix series? And if so, which one? Okay, so I have a few. Um, we, me and Sash binge watched Ozark recently because season, I think it's three, is it two or three? Season three or the next season the la the latest season just came out on March 27th so when it came out we like it within 2 days we'd watch that entire season but that's a really good one to watch like highly recommend that great cast great writing amazing story um i'm from birmingham england so there's a tv show called peaky blinders also on netflix which is a period drama but more like period crime um quite gritty and that is based on a, uh, a sort of a legal um group a gang called Peaky Blinders in Birmingham which is where I'm from so I'm really connected with that like the accents are the same the like, infrastructure like the whole uh it's set in I've mentioned this like three times now but it's set in Birmingham and that infrastructure is like coal mining and um uh, uh sort of transportation through canals and lots of warehouses uh motor there was a big motor shop like big sort of hub there so it's a little bit industrial in that sense and then it's, of, co of course it's around like the wartime too so that's really good i just like went off on peaky blinders i love it so much you might already know this one okay so what else uh don't f with cats is brilliant it's like a three part i think they're like an hour long each but it's like a docu a mini series but a docu series fantastic like just surreal where it goes um right now i'm trying to do the tiger king that everybody's talking about but i'm only on episode one what else in netflix is good um i really like you won't find it on netflix but i really like the bbc series pride and prejudice it's super romantic it's a it, people find it long-winded but i was forced to watch it in england um during english class which i loved english class english class wow that's hard for me to say english class um I was forced to watch it and like fell in love with it. You know, you know those things where you what they bring a TV and you watch it and then you have to write an exam on uh you know certain subjects and and language in it and things like that. Um it's called Pride and Prejudice. It's by Jane Austen. It's a BBC series. It's really good. Highly recommend that. You know where you can watch it is um Apple TV or YouTube, even YouTube. You can like buy the whole series for like not very much or rent it. Um, I always use YouTube for that kind of stuff. Um, what else do I really like? Ooh. Ooh. There's, I don't know if you'd like this one. It's called Fowder, but me and Sash really like it. And it's a, it's dubbed and it's, um, Israeli and it's about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Um, and it's just like really, you know, dark and cutting edge. And, um, we love the actors and it is dubbed, but you would never really know it. Like it's, it's awesome. So we love that Fowler and that's coming out again soon too. So, but I mean, I do watch, I do watch series. I'm looking for a new one now. I got told The Mentalist was really good. Oh, Mad Men. I've been watching Mad Men. I do really like that. It can be a bit depressing in certain 
part but um i really like that so i'm sticking with that for a bit and I, I just didn't watch it first time around so i'm gonna do that and game of thrones i don't think i'll ever get the get the chance to like watch it full on throughout because it's like what eight eight seasons or more um and I know what happens in the end because I watched the end with Lindsay Arnold, even though I didn't really know what was going on. I thought it was epic. But now I'm like, I already know what's going to happen in the end, end, end. So anyway, you are always the best. You're so sweet. You're so supportive. Like your love for all of us as a cast is like it never goes unnoticed. We see you in the front row. We're so grateful to you for uh, the love you give us in the meet and greets, for the love you give us on social media. Um it's been a, like a pleasure getting to know you and I can't wait till the next time I see you thank you so much for requesting this you're so sweet and I've loved chatting away to myself but to you um and uh hopefully we get to do it soon please be safe in the quarantine this is like real dodgy time love you grandma came